Saturn's rings have been a focal point of astronomy ever since Galileo spotted them over 400 years ago, and these mysterious circular bands have both fascinated and perplexed astronomers ever since. Yet the mystery of how Saturn's rings were formed remains unsolved, and the discovery of unique ring systems surrounding other gas giants in our solar system has led to even more questions for astronomers. But before we get into some of the competing theories about how they were formed, let's take a look at what the rings are made of. Now, rings may look like solid disks, but they're actually composed of particles following a nearly circular orbit around the equatorial plane of a planet. They're located primarily within a planet's Roche limit, which is the distance where a celestial object is expected to be broken up by tidal forces. Planetary rings are constantly changing, and each system varies in structure, width, mass, and composition, which is why finding a unified theory for their formation is so challenging. Take the gas giants, for example. Neptune's five known rings are composed of peculiar clumps of dust called ring arcs, while Uranus's 13 known rings consist mainly of large particles made up of rock. And Jupiter's four known sets of rings are very faint and composed of tiny dust fragments. Unlike the other planets, Saturn's seven rings are made up of billions of particles that range in size and are almost entirely water ice. One ring formation theory points back to the Roche limit. As we mentioned earlier, if a celestial object, like an asteroid, drifts into the Roche limit, it will be ripped apart by the gravity of the larger object. It's believed the particle remains are then swept into the planet's orbit. Dust from nearby moons may also be pulled inside the Roche limit, adding to the composition of the rings. Another theory suggests that rings may have formed at the same time as our solar system over 4 billion years ago, and that planetary rings are made up of material left over when planets and moons took shape. But while these theories may work for some of the gas giants, where rings are composed mainly of rock and dust particles, they don't entirely work for Saturn. That's because water ice particles make up more than 90% of Saturn's rings. So, where did all that ice come from? Well, one theory might explain this mystery. During the formation of the solar system, a large moon made up primarily of ice was pulled into Saturn's gassy abyss. But before it took the fatal plunge, the moon was stripped of its icy mantle and the remains were swept into orbit around Saturn. It's believed that many other moons may have faced a similar fate, shedding even more ice into Saturn's ring system. But there's still a lot more we have to learn about ring formation, which is why these theories, along with many others, are the center of countless scientific debates. And until this astronomical puzzle is solved, Saturn's rings will remain one of the greatest mysteries in our solar system. If you want to see more spacecrafts, check out this playlist here. And be sure to let us know in the comments what astronomical phenomena you want to learn more about. Thanks for watching Seeker. Don't forget to subscribe.